I've, I've delved into my uh, craft stash, uh -huh. and I've got some like handmade paper. <laughs> and I'm going to go a bit rustic this time. So I've got some of the handmade paper. Yeah. And if I grab, oh, I've lost the stamp set. I want to use this big one with the lovely trees. And I just want to make that sentiment there a focal point. Yeah. So let's dig that out. Here it is. Nice. So I'm going to stamp that onto this lovely, any sort of brownish sort of paper. And I'm going to stamp it with the, the oxide, because you can stamp with yeah. the oxide. It comes uh -huh. out quite well. Yeah. The walnut stain. Oh, like, like a bit of walnut stain. Yeah, nice dark brown. And mm. if it doesn't stamp out quite well... That looks so good. It doesn't matter even. I say, there Sue, that looks really nice. On that, that cardstock, those paper with the uh, walnut stain, I love that. Yeah, it's nice and sort of rustic, isn't it? And mm. Sort of vintage-y. It looks expensive. Yeah. I'm just going to rip that out. Yeah. Some nice tearing. Nice tearing. And then I've got, if I move this out of the way, mm -hmm. I've got some brown card as well, or brown paper. Yeah. And I want to rip a second layer onto this. Okay. Um, the ink might be a little bit wet still. So a t what I like to do, an easy way to rip an added layer, is to just stick it down. And then you've got a guide then when where to rip. Oh, that's a good idea. Grab hold of this firmly and then just tear towards mm -hmm. you. You've got a good technique there. You'd be great with coupons. Oh, I love rip paper. I do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you get better at it. You know, yeah. you can... You get a feel for it and manage to follow yeah. where you are with it. Like that. OK. And then, actually, I don't need that. I need my craft sheet. And because I've used a glue stick, I can actually unglue it as mm. well. Because I just want to add a bit of... Oh, um, yeah. Just brown to the edges. Uh -huh. Quickly do that. Yeah, that's nice. I want to go a bit heavier. I quite like old looking things mm. and vintage style. Okay. You can really go to town on the vintage style, I think, with yeah. these collection of rosewood stamps. And then I just want to add a few specks of water. Uh -huh. Let that seep in. Get rid of the paper. And have I got a bit of tissue? Do you need tissue? Bit of tissue. I haven't got a bit of tissue. Yeah, this is unused. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, perfect. It's, Couple it's of seconds. Genuinely, it's unused. And then you can dab that off, and you get the little yeah. added sort of detail of the white specks. Okay. That's still tacky, that glue, so it's going back on. Mm -hmm. And then I've got an A5 cream card blank. I'm going to use here and yeah. I want to make this look old as well because this is going to sit it fits yeah, oh that looks fits. so good Sue but I need to make this rustic as okay, well how are we going to do that another nice tip is I'm going to scratch oh. some lines just random lines bit of scraffito it's actually a thing you heard of scraffito What's this? You need to you need to research scraffito. It is an actual art. Uh, it looks really really cool. This isn't technically scraffito, but oh, yeah, sounds like an Italian dish or something. Well, it is Italian. Have oh, a look. Oh. Yeah, have a look. <laughs> scraffito. I'm gonna have to Google that then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now when I show the ink to this, it sort of shows oh, up. Oh, that's nice. Just a quick bit like of that. aging. So it just means uh, it's graffito, it's Italian for scratch. Oh, is it? Yeah. And what do you scratch? It's artwork. I think what it, I'm pulling from my memory bank here, but you lay down a colour and then you scratch. And so let's say you had a hot pink underneath, say, a black base, and you scratch, and then those scratch marks come out uh, oh, and a bit more prominent. Okay. Don't hold me to that. Do you, something like that. Oh, I think I might have done something like that as a yeah. child. Nice. Okay, and I'll do the water technique on That's this. That's a as great well. way to age paper. I've yeah. never done that before. Uh, this is really quick, but you you know you could. So I've been presenting here for nearly five years, and I've never seen that technique. You are very oh. good. <laughs> it's just mark making, really, yeah. and using what you've got. A bit of faux bleaching now. Yeah. 
So let's stick this on. And, and I think just, just go for a blob of glue in the middle. Let's get that level. That's Rather nice. than sticking everything down. So you get the edges lift up as yeah. well. And actually, I think we might... Let's poke oh, that I like down. That. We might actually You've rock got a it minute up left, to make it yeah. look like paper. Yeah. Oh, a minute. I've die cut some little reindeers. Okay. So I'm just we, going to fix yeah. those on. They get fixed on at the top because I so like... So don't worry little, about gluing them down, just get them on. A lo little scene at the top. Oh, that's nice to have them there, yeah. The big tree and the little tree, just give them a bit of shading at the top. Do you know, by having the white cardstock but then creating the surround, it gives the illusion of light coming from behind? Yes, yes. Oh, I want the bigger one. You, with the smaller yeah. one. The I reindeer. Think, I tell you what we'll do, because time's beating us, Sue. Shall we have a look at your finished yeah, example? Yeah, that goes Sorry. on there. Oh, there we go. That's nice. We'll and have then, a look at the finished yeah, one. I'm sorry we got a little bit that, And I've just put a gold around the edge and mm -hmm. a few drops coming away from the sleigh. That's lovely. Thank you. So you are an absolute star. I really mean that. Thank and you. I've, every time I work with you, I feel I learn something. I think oh, you're very talented. Good. Can we follow you on social media? Certainly can. Yeah, How yeah. Do we do Sue that? Smith Creative Design. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please give Sue mm -hmm. a follow. Also, look out for Frog's Whiskers as well. Definitely give them a follow uh, and share with Sue and Frog's Whiskers anything that you make. Sue, thank you so much. Thank really you. enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. When he